it's another piece from my Wish Cheap Art Supplies puzzle has finally arrived. These are supposed to be very similar to Akashia Sai uh, brush pins. They sure look like Sai brush pins. Fortunately, while I was in Japan, I picked up some side brush pins. So it's going to be really fun to compare these brush pins against the Mozart brush pins I looked at a while back, against the side brush pins I just got, against maybe even the Neo Pico 4 brush pins and maybe even Kurataki Clean Color brush pins. So it is, I hope you guys are looking forward to it and I hope this is a treat for y'all. We're gonna begin with a pretty simple unboxing. This package arrived pretty, pretty beaten up. This is the state it arrived in. And I no longer have my original set of 26 Akashias. I've since replaced them. But you guys can check out that review by clicking this card here. You can see if you check that review out that the boxes are pretty simple, but not identical. On the back, it has some art. Um, I think this is to help us envision what we could be making with these brush pins. But I also have learned that when it comes to knockoffs, what's shown on the package is not always what they can deliver. And this package has been taped shut and is already missing one of the two snaps. So it arrived in great condition. And I'll go ahead and pull up the wish listing and get this tape cut so we can talk prices and check these markers out. So according to Wish, these are the 20 Colors Premium Soft Painting Brush Watercolor Markers Calligraphy Comic Pen. Ooh, J-E-S. Wow, I thought there was gonna be more to that than there really was. And apparently I paid $16 for this and it is sold out and it comes from an all-star shipper. And I believe when I ordered it, there were no ratings. There are currently three ratings and the total is three and a half stars with two being five stars. Two people really like this and one being one star. So I'll slip it out of its beaten up oversized case. And this is what we've got. So even though there is tape on these to supposedly hold them in place, they did get a little bit, what? <laughs> okay, there we go. I was like, are there more pins than there are spaces? No. Go ahead Wah! and remove the masking tape that held them in place. These are gonna go all over the place when they're in their box. And it also came with an empty water brush Oh, you know what? I thought these had really crummy, like solid bristle or solid nibs, not even the foam rubber nibs, which would be fine. I thought they had the um, fiber nibs, kind of like the Ichiban Kan markers that I reviewed, but no, they actually have individual bristle nibs, which makes them a lot better than what I thought they were gonna be. So I'm already pleasantly surprised. I know my voice doesn't give it away, but uh, I'm recovering from a pretty gnarly virus. So, you know, you're just gonna have to imagine that I am super enthusiastic now that I am 110% on board. All right, so I have one packet of the Akasia Psy markers. I have one kind of beat up looking packet of the Mozart brush markers and these were purchased out of pocket. And then let's see what else I've got. I have one packet of Neo Pico markers and I reviewed these over at natosoup.blogspot.com. You can just search Neo Pico. And then I've got a bunch of the Kurataki Clean Color Rail Brush Markers. I actually have um, a few packs of the Akasi Asai Markers and a few packs of the Neo Picos. I'm not gonna grab them for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do a one-to-one -one comparison. And keep in mind that I actually haven't taken a fresh look at the Asai Markers, nor have I taken any look 
at these wish markers. So to a certain extent, this is a bit of a blind review. Now you guys will notice the packaging for the Psy and the Neo Pico are pretty much identical in terms of plastic boxes. And I think when I did the initial, yeah, look, they also have the same, you know what, I'm gonna bet, I will bet these are really the same thing, just in a different form factor. So what we're really looking at right this moment are the wish markers, which do not have the click on them. And they remind me a lot of the Mozart markers. So I'm excited to kind of see how they stack up. Now, unfortunately, I did do a review of the Moz Art Markers and that hasn't gone live yet, but maybe it will soon. And I like them, I like them for their price, but they shed bristles like nobody's business. They're really bad about shedding bristles. So, even though I like them, it was hard. It is hard for me to recommend them just because of the, the bristle shedding. And I think I even have a couple of time-lapse videos of them. So the Wish brush markers look pretty much identical to the Mozart brush pins. Yeah, same body, same cap. Bet it's the same manufacturer. Then we have the clean color real brush, and then we have the Psy and the Neo Pico Force. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and get everything kind of laid out for you guys. We have here one Canson XL mixed media notebook or sketchbook. This is what I do a lot of my swatch tests in. We also have here all of the aforementioned brush pens. So one of the first things I wanna do is I wanna just take an honest swatchy look at the pens from Wish. I wanna take an honest look at the brush pin they sent. So this is the Wish brush pin. It features a clear cap. It has no clip on it. Um, it has a color collar and a color post. The lid is actually pretty loose. Gotta cap it on nice and tight. Unfortunately, I cannot translate this for you guys, but I'm sure someone in the comments below will let us know what it says. They look a lot like the Akasia Sai markers. So I'm gonna grab one of them. This marker, or rather this brush pin, says Japanese traditional colors, Sai. It's got a Honko-esque logo and what I assume is the color name. It also has a clear cap with a clip. It has a color collar and a color post. So, oh, and it's not, the body isn't actually black. It's very dark gray. Here we have the Mozart brush pen. It has the same clear rounded cap as the Wish brush pen. It has a white body. It says Mozart brush pen on it. It also says Mozart Supplies Limited, mozartsupplies.com, info at mozartsupplies.com. It has a color collar and a color, colored post. So we're gonna begin by dry swatching these Wish brush pens. And then we're gonna try using the included water brush to see how they blend out with water. And that was a shortcoming I found with the Akashia Sai, Akashia Sai markers, is that they just didn't really blend out very well. Already we have a loose hair, very similar. Is it loose or is it just super long? It's just super long. So that is gonna get in the way with accuracy. These, or at least the yellow, is a bit dry. Not a lot of ink flow, which is something I've kind of, ooh, that brown is very dry. I'll zoom in for you guys. Very, very dry. These are brand new. You guys saw me open these, but I did get them on Wish, so, you know, with Wish, sometimes you get exactly 
what you paid for, even if you overpaid. Sort of what you get for being on Wish, buying art supplies. I think of it kind of like eBay or a flea market. I think all of these are dry. Like really dry. I may have to try to reconstitute them somehow. So far though, um, several of these markers have had like one incredibly long random stray hair that needs to be clipped before you can really do much with these markers. And they're all, everything but the yellow, they're all incredibly dry so far. And it's only been, I think they arrived on Saturday and it's Monday right now. So it's only been, they've only been sitting around for a couple days. They're not, it's not like something I've resurrected from the bottom of my slush pile. And they are all really, really dry. So on that note, there's a few things we can do to try and resurrect these. I think they have ink in them because some of them do start to get going. If I had syringes, I would try injecting a little hot water in them, letting it soak in, and then trying that. Just watching them again. I don't have any syringes, unfortunately. If the tips were all crusty, I would try soaking them in warm water for a few minutes and let that kind of soak in. Unfortunately, the tips aren't crusty at all. I feel like all the ink is probably at the bottom and it's probably dried. So what I'm gonna try to do with these is I'm going to let the, to the tops sit in warm water for like a couple of minutes and then I'm going to let them rest horizontally and hope that kind of reconstitutes them or I'll let them rest tip side up so that the warm water can reach the bottom because right now we can't really tell anything conclusive about these markers other than they have individual bristles. They're not crusty but they are pretty dry. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about and you can also be kind of a participant in whether or not this works. I have here a small cup of hot water. Already the ink has started to flow from the brush out into the water. The intention isn't to remove the ink, it's just to reactivate it. So I'm dipping it in, inverting it until I see that it is at least soaked into the brush. And this could be an incredibly time consuming process. Again, if I had a syringe, this would be a little bit easier. Again, I do not. So it is not, and it might not be worth your while. As of right now, I am absolutely not suggesting you go out and purchase a pack of these Wish brush pens, especially not if they arrive dry. Now the yellow already worked pretty good. So the yellow isn't even a fair test. Now it would be kind of watery at first, I'm just going to invert it like so, and then have to find somewhere to put it. So as you guys can see, this plan is not, not a best case scenario sort of plan. Because you need them propped up. I guess what I'll do is I'll do all of them and then I'll stick this brush underneath. So the brown, as you guys remember, was very dry. And you guys can see how the color has wicked out of the brush. Again, our intention is not to remove color from the pen, but to get water into the body and rehydrate it. And you guys may have seen me do this with alcohol markers in order to breathe new life into a striker marker that arrived dead. All right, we've at least got ink flow now. So I think you guys get the procedure. This one's starting to work. And when the water gets kind of filthy, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a new cup of warm water. I think what else I'll do 
is. The ones that I have done, I'm going to go ahead and have them facing that way so we can keep track. This is a method that can be used to revive dried out water-based markers of almost any type. I just wouldn't use it on an entire pack of them. I don't think that's really worth anybody's time. So I'm gonna let this soak in. I'm actually gonna fix it and then let it soak in or attempt to fix it. Maybe I failed. Um, I'm gonna let it soak in. And then in probably about 20 minutes, I'll try swatching again. If that doesn't work, to be honest, these may not be worth reviving for your usual person, your average user. It's fine and dandy to do this for one or maybe two, especially if all the other ones are in really good working condition. It is not worth it to do it for 20, just as a time sink. Well, especially with brand new markers, they should arrive working. So it hasn't quite been 20 minutes, but it's been a fairly significant amount of time and I don't want this review to eat up my whole day. I'm gonna go ahead and re-swatch and see if that helped any. I hope it did. As you guys can probably tell, the yellow is already a bit lighter than it used to be, but it's also juicier. Same goes for the brown. That's probably mostly just water in the brush. So once the water sort of works its way out of the brush, it probably won't be as juicy anymore. So the blue could probably use more work. I'm gonna turn it over so that I know I need to come back to it. Yeah, I definitely think these colors are probably lighter than they should be. going by the cap, but at least they're kind of working now, so at least I can kind of move forward. So already, this technique tells me a couple things. One, markers arrive dry. Two, though, the inks aren't separating out into the basic dyes that were used to mix the individual colors. That was a big problem I had with the original Akashia Sai markers. So I have a feeling that when I do a blend out test with a water brush, when I finally get them working, um, we're not gonna have some of the color chromatography issues that I had with the other markers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six markers to try fixing again. Um, hopefully add a little more water to them and then we can maybe do a blend out test. So hopefully we can actually get to swatching, blending, and testing now that we've hopefully revived these markers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch out, ooh, that's much better now, swatch out with water using the included brush pen. And what I would normally be looking for in this sort of a test is to see whether or not the dye separates out into the individual components. But since we had to revive pretty much every single color in this set, we already know that these are not going to separate out into their individual, or they shouldn't. Black might be the one that does, but all the other ones seemed pretty steady. And hey, another plus side is you guys have learned a new trick.
Now they still, even though they're working a lot better now, they do feel kind of dry. So I'm a little concerned when I do the color to color rainbow blend out. And they're a little drier than Kurataki Clean Color Real Brush markers are. And I find those, I like those, but I find those really kind of dry. I'm always wishing for just a little more ink flow. Some of these colors are still a little bit finicky. Still a little hard to use, a little dry. And I could continue doing what I was doing before where I'm dipping it in the water and then letting it absorb. I don't really feel like that's the best use of my time though. And I am noticing that these markers aren't shedding the way the Mods Art markers have shed for me. They seem to be holding onto their bristles pretty decently. I'll probably do the Psy retest after I finish this one. So if you're curious how they really stack up, you can check that out. The water brush they've included seems to work decently well. I have no complaints about that, but it's kind of hard to screw up a water brush other than overcharge. I wish I had an option to buy water brushes in bulk where I could just get all of the same size, like 16 of them for 16 bucks. Oh, the black actually held up decently well. It did not split into its component colors. All right, this red has too much water in it, but it's also incredibly dry, so I don't really know what to do for this poor marker. So the dryness is really a huge issue with these. Yes, they can be reconstituted. Some of them take a lot of work to get them into working condition, which is a big problem. I am impressed that the brushes have individual nylon bristles. I am concerned because when I got these, the caps weren't on particularly tight. They were pretty loose like this. You really have to push the caps on. I'm concerned that perhaps they left the factory that way or they left Wish in that condition, not securely capped. And maybe that's, they just dried out like that. What is probably inside the barrels besides the dye is a suspension of water and glycerin. Glycerin is a pretty common additive for these sort of markers. It just kind of helps with blending and it helps them from evaporating too quickly. All right, I'm gonna leave the colors as they are in the order they came. Usually I would kind of redo. Actually, the yellow one is the only one that ended up being juicy enough. Normally I would redo the order for a rainbow blend, but given how dry some of these markers are, I don't know if that's worth it. So I'm just gonna go ahead. It'll be interesting to see how some of these colors blend with very disparate partners. I feel like I did a better job reconstituting earlier colors than I did with the later colors, although I think I treated them all pretty much the same. I think some are just drier than others. They do seem fairly blendable, even between kind of different colors, complementary colors. There is some blending going on. It's not just mud. Apologize for that, guys. Anyway, so that is an unboxing swatch first look sort of thing at these watercolor markers from Wish. I paid $16 approximately for them. Uh, they took a little longer to arrive than the rest of the items in my order. 
and they arrived kind of dry. Attempts to reconstitute them worked with many of the colors, but not with all of the colors. And I would consider uh, spending that kind of time to try to revive a product that's supposed to be new, a waste of my time. I would recommend, if you're looking for a cheap sort of water brush marker like that, I would recommend the Mozart markers over these. The Mozart markers have good color flow, good ink, the only problem is they do have a tendency to shed bristles. If you're looking for something a little higher end, there's also the Acacia Sai markers, and I'll be reviewing those soon. The Neo Pico 4 markers, and of course, the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And you can find um, tutorials for the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers and the Mozart markers here on this channel. I hope this unboxing swatch was helpful, useful, and informative for you guys. I hope this information helps you make a decision that is right for you and your artistic needs. And I hope to see you guys again really soon with another video. Uh, stick around and keep an eye out for my Acacia Shai review. That should be coming up really soon. I hope you guys have a great day. And if you're looking for more watercolor contact, content, head on over to nanosoup.blogspot.com and check out my watercolor basics series. Have a great day, guys. Bye.